This is Hanging Heavy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. And today, or at least right now, I am all by my lonesome. And that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hopefully, Papi Ray can join later on when he gets home. If not, it's all good. We'll call it a short episode. And that's the way we do around here. Uh, we have a tradition for at the top of every show. We take a shot. We chug a beer, take a big old gulp of whatever we got near. We drink on this other show. It helps lubricate the process. And I like to get drunk. Yeah, so whenever you guys are ready, put it up in the air in three, two, one. So yeah, your boy, he be going solo today. And I guess I can use this moment. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's go ahead and do this one. No, that doesn't make sense. So uh, this one will work. So uh, oh, that's a little. Let me go ahead and crank that down a bit. So yeah, um, I'm. Recently new to... No, not recently new. I'm barely getting back into the swing of PC gaming. Uh, Started playing a game in which we did not speak of for the longest time. Surprise, motherfucker! That game is Destiny. And, uh... Yeah... We started playing on PlayStation, not a sponsor, and uh, man, honestly, I forgot how fucking fun that game is, and uh, yeah, uh, Papi warned me not to do it to him, but uh, that boy, he hooked good. Dip, 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 dip. <clears throat> he was telling me that we shouldn't get into it. Fuck that! I don't need that shit in my life. That's what he was saying. And I was just like, but it's free, baby. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. It was free with uh, PlayStation. They gave us a couple free DLCs these last couple months, and that's the only reason why I got back into it playing Destiny. I wanted to see what was up, if anything had changed. And, uh, the game is fucking completely different. Haven't played that shit since... Uh, Let's look it up. Destiny 2. Let's see when this DLC came out. The last thing I played on... The last expansion pack that I bought for Destiny 2 was the Curse of Osiris, which turns out to be one of the only, or one of the first DLC expansions, (laughs) and it was released in December 2017. Uh, So, 2017, uh, maybe, let's give it a year, 2018, pretty much right before we started this podcast 2018 six years ago god damn <laughs> and I I said I would never go back and I mean six years not going back I didn't miss it at all uh, of course uh, I'm not a hardcore gamer by any means but I do enjoy playing games uh uh, it's even more fun when you get the boys together, right? And that's when you cause a whole bunch of fucking chaos. 
and or get carried in my case <laughs> <laughs> baby blue god damn it bobby get in the corner boy well, i don't know dad <laughs> bobby knows what i'm talking about and uh so yeah we've been playing pc more recently there's a couple games out that are only PC exclusives, I guess you could call it. And um, in the the wake of COVID, I mean, uh, in the wake of uh, in the fuck, I took it off. In the I'll just go with this one. In the wake of uh, sick time, and when you're feeling that that up chuck coming up. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> but yeah, fucking... I decided to purchase a, a PC with my Trump bucks back in, the, in them days. Uh, I decided to use that as an investment into the future of not only gaming for me, but uh, recording also. Because uh, I record this podcast and all of my music on a fucking... Mac, let me go ahead and pull this up. On an iMac, a mid-2010, 21 and a half inch iMac. 2010, we're in 2024. That's fucking 14 years old. In electronics, that's like a century ago. (laughs) But this fucking bad boy's still kicking. It has shit hard drive space, but I do have an external hard drive in it or on it mounted to it whatever you want to call it paired with it sure and uh recently my hard my hard drive disk space was coming near to full capacity so uh, i spent a whole fucking day transferring at slow ass 2010 15 year old computer speeds whatever that may be cleared up 400 gigabytes more or less of just uh, old music projects and uh, stuff that I had recorded I mean shit going back all the way till fucking the birth of this damn computer and uh, yeah fucking seems to be working pretty goddamn good again so that's fucking awesome squeeze this motherfucker for all it's got and hopefully uh, smoothly transition to PC when the time comes. Because, like I said, I'm going to run what I brung. I'm going to fucking rock this bitch until it explodes. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's a little foreshadowing. I am delivered! <laughs> so going back to my PC, uh, I noticed a while, maybe... Um, I'm, I'm going to give it a little less than a month. I started uh, booting up into BIOS uh, right off of a cold boot. So I figured, well, that's not right. But I went ahead and went through my BIOS like always. Save, continue, exit, whatever the fuck. And uh, I noticed that in the BIOS, it was showing all of my PC fans going and my... GPU going, my CPU going, but my I have an all-in-one uh, cooling pump radiator, whatever you want to call it, for said GPU or CPU, excuse me. And uh, I noticed that it wasn't showing up in BIOS, so I figured that's what the issue was, right? It was just overheating. Uh, so I went ahead and got a replacement. I'm going to go ahead and say it straight up. I am computer retarded. Uh, I got fucking nine inch uh, from thumb to finger, from thumb to pinky, almost 10 inches across in hand wingspan, I guess. So I got big hands. I'm a big boy. Uh, If you've ever opened up any kind of electronics in the last five years, uh, it's uh, not for American hands, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, 
more for them uh, child labor. Uh, but yeah, if I can, my hands are too big, and uh, just changing the water pump itself for me, I was just worried I was gonna fuck something up or break something or whatever. You know, when it comes to PCs or computers in general, fucking, it could be anything. You you could do everything to the T proper, and something can still fucking go wrong. It couldn't. It could even not be your fault, right? So fucking, I replaced the pump, and when I went to go boot it up, my I have it connected to a monitor and a TV. <laughs> Humble brag. And uh, I I couldn't get it to come out on either display. Now, I have a finicky monitor, and I noticed when I, I started getting stuck in my BIOS loop that it would uh, automatically go to my monitor. So, uh, once I got my monitor set up, at first it was a pain in the ass, but I got it, and I, I didn't have an issue up until this BIOS shit. So, when I put all my shit back together, I turned it on, and everything lit up, all the RGB that's on it lit up and everything looked like it was powering and connected so uh, I was excited I did it right I did it I did it yay yay uh, shout out to puppy's favorite author I can read in magical voices <laughs> uh, and yeah it, uh, I finicked with it for a couple of days. I couldn't get it to work. I tried doing this. I tried doing that. I tried taking out this display and only doing one. I tried doing it the opposite. And I'm not a computer tech. I'm not super savvy. I can get it to work. I can use it. But if it comes to fixing it, I'm fucking fucked. And I got a boy that works in a... The tech industry, I guess you could say. And uh, I'm talking a cute shout out to my boy Bookfast, aka Ruby Tuesday, aka Three Bills, aka Dirty Sanch, aka Dirty Ranch. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. Uh, but yeah, fucking. I told him what was up and he gave me some advice. And Papi built his own PC. Uh, shout out to him. For being brave enough to to do it himself for the first time, and he was like, "Oh, well, maybe I could I could fix it for you, puppy. Uh, uh, hey, puppy, maybe uh maybe you should let me look at it." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Uh, so he was ribbing me, and uh, I I have a decent amount. Of fucking, what do you call that? Uh, uh, patience, right? I have a decent amount of patience, but once something fucks me, or if I spend a lot of money on something and it fucking breaks or doesn't work, shit pisses me off. Like, why the fuck can't shit just work, right? And when it comes to custom PCs, like, you got to make sure everything's compatible and fucking make sure that you tickle your butt on a Tuesday with a full moon and uh, make sure you have all your beans in order or whatever the fuck. And I, I, I was super frustrated already. I was already at the point to where I, I wanted to, I had graphic vivid thoughts and uh, daydreams of just Tying it on a chain and tossing it out of the back of my truck on the highway. And just dragging the motherfucker, right? I was I was ready to go nuclear on this motherfucker. But I decided to let my boy, Three Bills, look at it. And uh, Papi was telling me that uh, another friend of ours, uh, Captain Great Value, he could have looked at it too. And I figured I'd give my boy a chance. I, I believe in him. I trust him. 
it's not like he can break it more. I mean, he could break it more, right? But I trust him enough. He does it for a living. So I took it to him. I even offered to pay. And he, as as a good, a good fucking friend, said, don't worry about it. He looked at it, and uh, he said everything looked connected. Everything was getting power. Everything was running. But then uh, he looked at something that I guess I overlooked, and he noticed that uh, one of my sticks of RAM was showing uh, unseated or and not in position, right? So luckily he had some spare parts. He had an extra one, so he pulled out. He pulled out one that showed, or he pulled out one. And uh, it appeared to be the right one because he replaced it with an extra one that he had. And boom, Susan Durant and Bob's your uncle. Fucking display came back. I asked him, would a, a bad RAM like be the cause that I don't see anything coming out in my from the BIOS, like the display? And he's like, yeah. If the RAM's not seated properly or something is wrong with it, it's not going to turn on. Like It'll turn on, but... Like the computer will essentially go into safe mode, I guess. I don't. I don't. I don't. He didn't really explain it, and I also don't really give a fuck. But as soon as he put his stick in, it worked. Uh, we ran the BIOS, and everything looked cool. And that's when he noticed that the fucking RAM that I have in my PC, I have a decent build, but there's some things that I did cheap out on because I wanted to get at the time some of the better parts that I could get for it I, I prioritized a good motherboard and a good graphics card and a power supply powerful enough to supply enough juice everything else I could give a fuck about right uh, I didn't get any uh, a Wi-Fi band put on my motherboard because that cost like $80 extra I knew I didn't need it because I had just buried about a hundred feet of fucking Ethernet so that I could have wired Hardline out here in my studio and fucking uh, the, the fucking RAM was another one that I cheaped out on I figured if I had any issues with it I could buy better RAM later on I know how to do that that's like super easy it's just literally unplug and plug in and then you gotta fucking just make sure everything is set up properly and seated well and uh, yeah so I had to I didn't want to spend any more money because I had just buy a new pump and fucking once we got that he noticed that uh, the bio the bios was still popping up but every time it would the clock had been reset and he's like if that keeps happening that means there's a some battery that could be out and uh, said battery, I found it, was under my graphics card. Conveniently placed, out of reach, and in the most ex- underneath the most expensive part of my PC build. <laughs> so I had to go buy a battery. So I had my boy take out the GPU because I know I would fuck something up. And uh, by the time I got back, he was just chilling. He had already done it. And uh, we popped that battery back in. We set the time and got everything going. And I brought it back home. We fucking, again, three bills. You the man. He showed me his badge. (laughs) Uh, But, yeah. I'm going to blame Destiny for that one. Because I didn't have any issues with my PC until after I downloaded Destiny. So, fuck you, Bungie. It's still your fault. Uh, I didn't fuck my computer up. Me, personally, it could have just been a bad stick of RAM. It happens. And the battery, well, I mean, batteries die. You do have to replace them. So, I replaced both of those, and everything looks fucking Gucci. So, I guess uh, I'm not going to give up on PC gaming. But, still, like... Come on, man. Fuck, fuck all that noise. Just tell me what's wrong with it, goddammit. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, let me go ahead and take a quick commercial break. And we'll be right back. 
நினைச்சிடணும் When you're striving to be one of the best in the industry, you've got to take steps. Steps to ensure that you're different from the rest. With recipes passed down from generation to generation, it isn't about making a product that'll sell. No, it's more than that. It's about heritage. It's about pride. So we're introducing to you people now a recipe so strong it'll knock you dead. Reintroducing Dead Peppy's Moonshine. With the blood, sweat and tears, determination and integrity for our blue collared brethren we bring you dead pappy's moonshine dead pappy's moonshine llc they're not responsible for any blindness deafness soreness of mouth rashes or any unknown side effects due to drinking dead pappy's moonshine Shout out to Dead Peppy's Moonshine. As you get to get you drunk, brother. <clears throat> and Poppy's never showed up, so we'll just go ahead and end the episode there. Thank you guys very much for listening. As always, I'm your boy Desecrator. This was Hanging Heavy. Much love and rich and rare.